How to sign up for and use lalilo.com by Madame Kim. I sent an invite to all the parents of Elk F. So if you go into your email, you should find an invitation from my email. And you can click on either of these two links. And it'll bring you up to the web page. So here's your invite and it explains to you how to get started. It says access the program by going to Google Chrome. This is the optimal browser for Lalilo. Note if you're using an iPad, make sure you're using the iOS 11 version. Go to the website www.lalilo.com, sign up as a parent, choose a password, and once you sign up, you'll be asked to use your parent code. So you could highlight, copy, and paste, or I recommend writing it down just in case. Once you're ready to go, your login is simple. You go to the website, you click login, and then you're in. So go to your browser at the top, type in lalilo.com, L-A-L-I-L-O.com. Lalilo is now entirely free to help support educators and their students. All of Lalilo is now entirely free. So thank you very much to Lalilo for that. Click got it. Top right corner, sign up free. Click I am a parent. You may have a different prompt saying that you've never signed in before, but you go to sign up now. Are you a teacher, homeschool parent, parent? Put in your first name and last name. Type in your personal email that you'll be using to log in. Double check to make sure that all the letters of your email are correct. Create a password that must be eight plus characters long. How did you hear about Lali Lo? You could put a teacher at my school. I understand my rights and duties as a teacher concerning the collection of my students' personal information and mine. I will abide by Lali Lo's privacy policy in terms of use. Click yes, create account. If you have the option to save your password, highly recommended. Enter your parent code. Here I tried pasting it and it ended up putting up the link to invite the parent. But I did write it down. So type it in. And click connect. I've been connected to Ian, which is my mock student. And click let's start. You are prompted to press the play button in the center. Click it. And you're ready to go. The second half of the tutorial shows you the actual game and the diagnostics. Unfortunately, the sound of the game itself did not record during my screen recording. So some of it might not quite make sense to you because you can't hear it. But I do explain what's going on. So if you have the game next to you and you can play kind of parallel to what I'm doing, it might make a little bit more sense. But hopefully this is still going to assist you in guiding your child through the game with the instructions being given in French, but with me helping you understand what is going on. So there's a play button to continue going. The bottom left hand quarter, that's kind of like your profile for your student or your child. Here you have your treasures, which you will collect as you go further along, badges, and eventually you get to reading stories and doing reading comprehension. So it shows the stories that you've collected. And the home button on the top left brings you back to the main screen. So click play. Here they kind of give you an introduction of the game and tell you that the first few sets of activities are like a diagnostic to find out whereabouts your child is. Um, so they can do a specified program for them to start at their level. C'est parti, let's go. It's going to ask you or give you directions. It's asking you to find the letter from the sound that you've heard. If you're not sure of the instructions and you do understand some French, you can always click this little button here. He will repeat the instructions in French, unfortunately. And then if you'd like to hear the sound again, you can click repeat in the middle here. 
So choose the letter that goes with the sound that you heard. You'll be prompted to do this a few times. I'm putting some wrong answers here just to mimic a student making some errors. And you can see how far along you've come in the questions at the top. Again, mimicking some wrong answers. It's best not to help your child through this too much because if you skew the answers, the work that's given to them later, the activities given to them later will be too difficult for them to do on their own. And the goal is that they can do this by themselves. You have now completed the first half of diagnostics. So if you go to the little banum in the bottom left corner, you can see that you've earned a treasure. Still no badges or stories, but you've earned a treasure. Back to the home screen, top left. You've advanced in your little journey and press play. This is the second half of the diagnostic. So you can press C'est parti, let's go. So you're doing the same here, looking for the letter that goes with the sound. The instruction here is putting two sounds together. So you want to click the first and then the second letter that make the combination sound. Listen again if need be. Depending on the activity that you are in the middle of playing, sometimes it will let you know if you have the wrong answer. Sometimes it won't. And other times it will let you know if it's a wrong answer and let you try again. But it all depends on whereabouts you are in the diagnostic or the activity and which activity it is. I'm making some mistakes here again to mimic a four or five year old doing the game. Here they are asking for the different chunks in an entire word or made up word I think in some cases which would be pretty difficult for a kindergarten student to do. So I'm going to mimic uh, making mistakes for this one, not correctly putting the right sounds in the right syllable sections here. So that's not a correct answer. This one's a little bit more simple, so I will make it a correct answer. Listen to it again just to make sure. This one's pretty long. Not a correct answer that I'm putting to mimic, again, a younger student doing it. This is a diagnostic, so it might seem frustrating for your child to do this because it may be too difficult to do at this time. Please remind them that it is just to see what they can do so that they can set up the activities for them to do later on that are at their level. So here it's saying the word and showing you a picture too and asking you to find the word that goes with the sounded word, what it sounds like. So some of them they might be able to find or guess by decoding or seeing some familiar words. Also probably a little bit difficult for most at this time. So I put mostly wrong answers for that one. All right, so the diagnostic part is over. The program will assess the answers and 
create a set of activities that are based on the level that your child is at. It will ask you if you're ready to go to make sure that you're paying attention and that you're at the screen. Click yes. And there you go.